Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to add a line break, a BR tag, at a specific word. Now that sounds really simple, doesn't it? But I'm also going to show you how to make that line break happen responsively. Maybe you want it not to happen on desktop or you do want it to happen on tablet or phone or something like that. Well, I'll show you how to do that. Let's take a look. All right, so go ahead and hop on over to the written blog post that will be linked in the description and you can read about this and get our helpful uh, code snippets here later on here. Um, so how does this work? Well, it's pretty simple to add a line break in Divi, but hey, if you're not familiar with it, I'll show you how to do that first. Um, basically, it's a BR tag. So it's BR meaning break, you know, BR for break. And it's wrapped in the two, you know, carrot brackets. So you could put it wherever you want. So if you want to put that at a specific word so that your headline breaks a certain way, you can do that. Here, let me just show you before we even go further. So here you can see before and after examples. So this is a headline on my website. You can see that it's text that's written and it's filling the width of the space but you know it kind of looks odd doesn't it you kind of wish some of the words were on the second line to make it more evenly distributed and you know fill in the uh, space or whatever okay that's very easy to do with this br tag all right so i will show you that so i'll, I'll just go ahead and go into any module i'm going to use the text module but any module that has this text area would work for this i'll go ahead and write the same headline that i used there in the screenshot all right so there you go um you can see that it just doesn't look right it's filling up the this green row perfectly fine um, now you could do things like you know go in here to the sizing and you can set a max width and you can adjust that right i mean that's a very good thing you could do but if you want it to break specifically, and there are sometimes reasons for that, um, I'll get to a different one. But for now, let's just make sure we're setting it up right. You can see in my instructions, we're going to this text tab. And basically, that's the HTML tab um, with visual and then text. Wish this would say HTML. It says text, which can be a little confusing. So what you could do, you know, you could go in here and say this is a headline, and then wherever you want, you could add BR like that and then you know that it's going to break now like I said with the sizing now you don't have to worry about that as much um, you could still set your max width but um, yeah now you can set the BR tag the reason this comes really helpful is you can de decide if you want to have it apply or not per device size it's something that you may not have thought about before. And so I am going to scroll down here. You can see that we are, you know, how to add a BR tag. Um, um, this is supposed to say how to make a BR tag responsive. Um, but we're using a class and you can see we're putting the class inside the opening and closing brackets. So you have opening bracket BR and then there's a space and then you say class equals and then you name your class your, your custom class name so you can see I'm naming it PA line break and I'll just copy that because it makes it so much easier and we will just go ahead and put that right in here oh and sometimes it does that but right there so now we have the class associated with the line break tag okay that's important. Next, we have to actually get our CSS to target that class so it actually does something. Now, I have three examples here, and I have them labeled um, as, as well as I, as I could. So, apply the line break to tablet and phones only, okay? So, apply the line break to desktop only, and then apply this line break to smaller phones only. So let's just try one, right? Let's just copy this first one, apply line break to tablet and phones only. All right, so now I'm going to the page settings because this will make a nice 
quick way for me to add the CSS. So go in here, custom CSS, and paste. Well, you can see right away that it went back to the way it was before on desktop. So let's get to a smaller size. I'm gonna click on the, the mobile view, phone view. And you can see that it is breaking now. Let's go to tablet. Yeah, you can see it's very clearly breaking um, where I want it to on tablet only. But if I come back here to desktop, you can see it's not breaking, okay? Let's do a different one. Um, apply line break to desktop only. Okay, let's do that one. So basically, I'm just gonna go in here to page settings and replace what I had. Okay, so remember, we're doing it to desktop only now. So now, watch what happens when I go to like tablet. Okay, you can see it's continuing across. It doesn't quite fit there. Yep, it continues across very well. Okay, that one's maybe easier to see than the others. Apply line break to small phones only. You can see I have min width. 479, so we'll put that in here. Okay, so it's gonna be on small phones only, so it's not on desktop, it's not doing it on tablet, and it may or may not do it on here. With our text size this big, it's gonna be difficult to see, so I will make it smaller. Now you can see it, that it is breaking on a small phone, but it is not on tablet. Okay, now for understanding these media queries, if I didn't say these are media queries right here, that's what we're wrapping it in. That's what determines when you apply CSS to a specific screen size. If you're not familiar with that, I have the tutorial linked here that we did a while back on CSS media queries, just what they are, how they work. So highly recommend checking that out if you're wondering how to customize these, because these are meant to be customized. You know, like like 479 is the default breakpoint in Divi, but you might want it at 600 or at 800 or whatever it is, and that's fine. Um, the max width versus the min width. You can actually see this one is a min width, and this one is a max width, and that's what determines whether where, where the code applies. Basically, it's saying it, it applies to a minimum screen size of this or a maximum screen size of that, and that's how media queries work. So I know that was a little unusual for a tutorial, but I do think it will be helpful sometimes, and maybe you'll think of it later if you're not thinking about it now, and that's fine. Um, so hope you enjoy that, and if you did, you can follow along. We do tutorials like this every week. We'll see you in the next video.